Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. We got a momentous uh, day today in the futures industry. It is called Rollover Day. Now, if you don't know what that means, that is when the current contract expires and rolls into the next uh, contract. And as I'm pretty sure uh, most of you are aware, I would hope we are currently trading ESZ9. The Z represents the current contract month, which is December. Z stands for December. I know it doesn't make that much sense. Uh, nine represents 2019, okay? Now, a good rule of thumb is to know if you're trading the indexes that the second Thursday of that contract expiration month is the rollover day. Now, I will show you quickly how to do it. It's very, very easy to do. There's a couple things you can do. Uh, first, let's roll over the Infinity AT quote board. Now, there's two ways to do this. One would be left clicking on the contract itself and clicking on the square R button in the middle of the quote board, which represents rollover. You can see, bam, ESHO, simple, simple, simple. Now, if I didn't have that, if I just had ESC9 and I wasn't aware of that R, I can also at any point click the drop down menu, scroll up, select ESHO, which is March. 2020 S&P contract and click the blue plus sign. Now people uh, constantly ask Marcus when's the best time to roll over. Now it really depends on volume I would say. Um, rollover day I think you're safe to continue to trade that current contract month and you can tell where volume's at very easily by looking in the far uh, right hand column which is volume. You can see uh, there is far more volume in December than there is March 2020. So you can stick with December if you want, then tomorrow, uh, trade March. Now, in order to populate a chart for this specific contract, it is even easier to roll over your charts. All you have to do is click this C arrow that points down in, um, excuse me, in the uh, C column, the blue arrow that points down in the C column, and it will change this contract the next month. Or you can easily type in the contract month, select it, and it will roll over the charting software. You can see that we have ESHL represented here with my volume weighted at average price indicator. Uh, simple as that, guys. You know, rollover day, uh, we get a lot of questions, but it really um, is, is simple to transition to the next front month. Um, as always, if you have any questions, just give me a call directly. Phone uh, phone number is on my uh, email or email me directly at mz at infinityfutures.com. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it.